Hey, Capper here. It is May 13th, 2018, and this is the day that Mrs. Capper has been waiting for for a long time. Mother's Day? Yes, Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. But not for that reason. Because today the rice pond is going to get planted. And the wild rice we've been storing in the refrigerator. And it really stinks really bad. It came with all these warnings about put gloves on and this and that. And we've had it for almost a month because we've been too busy to get to it. So let's get the wild rice out. Please get the wild rice out of there. Okay, and she was so cautious, she put some baking soda in there. It didn't help. And she swears that, like, if you have a beer or a soda, she swears you can taste the stink. I don't believe that, though. Yes, you can. Oh, it's dripping. Oh, you got a lot to clean up then, don't you? Here is the wild rice. Ugh. Ah, smells luscious. So, I mean, to me it looks good. Looks like the day it was born. So we're gonna quadruple bag it here and go do some magic out on the pepper farm. All right, just wash your hands when you're done, okay? Let's go outside. All right, here we are, May 13th. Let's check the rice pond. We're going to see how uh, all my digging did. We're going to see if the overflow pipe worked. Wow, looks beautiful. Siphon's still running. Should be uh, overflowing by now. But wow, what a pond. It ain't even running over yet. Something don't, there's a, there's a thing right there. Ooh, I gotta be careful. All right, it's just hitting the pipe. Uh, why it ain't running over? It should be because uh, if I did it right, I had an angle downward. With my luck, I angled it the wrong way. But let's have a look in All the right, pipe. All right, I see the culprit. There's a, it's a whoop de doo It's a dip in the middle. It goes up and then back down, so it'll be overflowing here pretty quick. Okay, just started running. You guys are going to see all the fruits of my first pond labor. If I don't kill myself getting over there. There's the first few dribbles. Yay! And the good news is, uh, there's nothing so far coming through, you know, that found its way around that pipe. I'm going to let it run just a smidge higher so that it's running. And then I'm going to shut it off. Uh, I don't think the laser lied this time. I think it was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right, Capper here, time to plant wild rice. Now this stuff has an extremely, and I mean extremely scientific way of planting that I'm hoping that I'll get right and I don't mess up this investment. This stuff was uh, like two or 300 bucks for this seed and I'll show it to you. Um, but let's hope I get the method right so maybe we have a chance of okay. working. Let's see, it is wild rice in fact. Let me show you the methodology and hope I can get it right. Okay, so you have to take exactly, and it can't be any more or less, you have to take exactly level with one hand. Okay, so that's not enough. It has to be exactly level. Save the rest, okay? They say put other hand over it just like this, precisely level. I forgot the planter, let me get it. All right, precisely level like that. 
I think I got it. Even Capper can handle that. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, we're doing it. Planting wild rice. Oh, that does stink. My food plotting will help me a lot. Uh, just seeing the dispersal pattern. Okay, the pond is just about full overflowing. And uh, I took a walk around the dam on the outside here. The best I could see, there's not a single leak or a seep. Now, keep in mind, sometimes it takes a few days to pop a leak if it's going to or a seep. But from what I could see, I'm not seeing anything wet. So there is another new adventure, extreme wildlife management, our own uh, permanent rice duck pond. Stay tuned if you want to see if this thing works. I'm also going to plant some rice in our old pond on some of the really brushy shorelines though, not in the open spots, and see what happens. All right, come on water. There, she's running the tiniest bit. We have movement. Yes. And there's my energy drink. I wouldn't be without that. There's a Red Bull in there. And some other concoctions. Mountain Dew, Red Bull, and some workout stuff. Daddy's little helper.